subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in Google Professional Cloud Developer. So let's get started. Question number 1. You want to upload files from an on-premises virtual machine to Google Cloud Storage as part of a data migration. These files will be consumed by Cloud Data Proc Hadoop cluster in a GCP environment. Your options are The correct answer is, option A. Question number 2. You migrated your applications to Google Cloud Platform and kept your existing monitoring platform. You now find that your notification system is too slow for time-critical problems. What should you do? Your options are a. Replace your entire monitoring platform with Stackdriver. B. Install the Stackdriver agents on your Compute Engine instances. C. Use Stackdriver to capture and alert on logs, then ship them to your existing platform. D. Migrate some traffic back to your old platform and perform ab testing on the two platforms concurrently. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 3. You are planning to migrate a MySQL database to the managed cloud SQL database for Google Cloud. You have Compute Engine virtual machine instances that will connect with this cloud SQL instance. You do not want to whitelist IPs for the Compute Engine instances to be able to access cloud SQL. What should you do? Your options are A. Enable private IP for the cloud SQL instance. B. Whitelist a project to access cloud SQL and add Compute Engine instances in the whitelisted project. C. Create a role in Cloud SQL that allows access to the database from external instances, and assign the Compute Engine instances to that role. D. Create a Cloud SQL instance on one project. Create Compute Engine instances in a different project. Create a VPN between these two projects to allow internal access to Cloud SQL. The correct answer is, Option C. Question number 4. Your website is deployed on Compute Engine. Your marketing team wants to test conversion rates between three different website designs. Which approach should you use? Your options are A. Deploy the website on App Engine and use traffic splitting. B. Deploy the website on App Engine as three separate services. C. Deploy the website on Cloud Functions and use traffic splitting. D. Deploy the website on Cloud Functions as three separate functions. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 5, you are deploying your application to a Compute Engine Virtual Machine instance, with the Stackdriver monitoring agent installed. Your application is a Unix process on the instance. You want to be alerted if the Unix process has not run for at least 5 minutes. You are not able to change the application to generate metrics or logs. Which alert condition should you configure? Your options are. A. Uptime check. B. Process health. C. Metric absence. D. Metric threshold. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 6. You have two tables in an ANSI SQL compliant database with identical columns that you need to quickly combine into a single table, removing duplicate rows from the result set. What should you do? Your options are. A. Use the join operator in SQL to combine the tables. B. Use nested with statements to combine the tables. C. Use the union operator in SQL to combine the tables. D. Use the union all operator in SQL to combine the tables. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 7. You have an application deployed in production. When a new version is deployed, some issues don't arise until the application receives traffic from users in production. You want to reduce both the impact and the number of users affected. Which deployment strategy should you use? Your options are A. Blue or green deployment B. Canary deployment C. Rolling deployment D. Recreate deployment The correct answer is, option A. Question number 8. You need to migrate an internal file upload API with an enforced 500 megabyte file size limit to App Engine. What should you do? Your options are A. Use FTP to upload files. B. Use CPAnal to upload files. C. Use signed URLs to upload files. 
D change the API to be a multi-part file upload API. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 9, you are developing a JPEG image resizing API hosted on Google Kubernetes engine. Callers of the service will exist within the same GKE cluster. You want clients to be able to get the IP address of the service. What should you do? Your options are A. Define a GKE service. Clients should use the name of the A record in Cloud DNS to find the service's cluster IP address. B. Define a GKE service. Clients should use the service name in the URL to connect to the service. C. Define a GKE endpoint. Clients should get the endpoint name from the appropriate environment variable in the client container. D. Define a GKE endpoint. Clients should get the endpoint name from Cloud DNS. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 10. You are using Cloud Build to build and test application source code stored in Cloud Source repositories. The build process requires a build tool not available in the Cloud Build environment. What should you do? Your options are A. Download the binary from the internet during the build process. B. Build a custom Cloud Builder image and reference the image in your build steps. C. Include the binary in your Cloud Source Repositories repository, and reference it in your build scripts. D. Ask to have the binary added to the Cloud Build environment, by filing a feature request against the Cloud Build Public Issue Tracker. The correct answer is, option B. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.